where your point is, or you just had to have your mind. This is Whitlock, they'll be glad you're You surprised? They tried to dance with a witcher. There. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. Yeah. 
his land. They're on to us. They're not letting Gray him in. Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> We've no new. Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So what? Uh, burn it! Ah. What? No. No. Millie, we gotta flee. The place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on... Just Gerald Strong. You need to be so deep now. Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench!
God, Annabelle, back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head, but one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Here, the noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? something across the floor. More dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly.
experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here. Who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell? What it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage. In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No, for I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens, hundreds, and I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. 
Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. Who could love a wraith? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse that is. If so, forgiving Graham. Laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lake shore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. in there until the end. What a shitty way to die.
Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! B Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So what? Uh, burn it! Ah. What? No. No, stay back! Don't leave me! They're on to us! They're not letting Graham in! Quiet, my fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> With no notion we's coming to tear him to shreds. Waste clear, lads! Adam!
to. I don't want to see no one. You've got to. Just leave me be. Wanna talk? You death, damn it! I told you. Who are you? I'm a Witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It's where Millie, Finch and Faulkner they rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it, for Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! Then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time. But... Can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But... What can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. There is a... Her bones? Yes. Give me here. And leave me be. A girl in plated flowers looks like a small shrine. like rain.
fault. Just when I was starting to miss you. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you too close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded, as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion to delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who do you want to use it on? He didn't say. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm. I lifted the curse, so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you failed to notice. You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the eyes been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favour you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh, with rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge, damned souls too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times, death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This 
we do on Forefathers' Eve. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, Mr. Pella knows. Not to fear. How to reward one for their aid. This too the Pella knows. Seems like you could use a witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse. The Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey. To Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Give us a rest. Greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help some will be. From these you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know. Let his torment ever go. What comes next once life subsides? Mine is Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each one say by what they're hurried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? The storm. We're prepared to end their grief. Let's begin for Father's Eve. Ye who wander on the gale, ever caught in this world's door, see this sign, gentle sail. Ye we summon, ye we Sound I hear. Not good. Right? Spirit breaks the still of night. Burning incense ever higher. Spirit talking to me. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All Something whispers, something peeps, someone near our fire creeps. We who wander on the gale, ever walk in this world's thrall, see this sign, gentle pale, ye! Now, you piece of hell. Hark, a sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. Who 
are you? He knows. Should I drive him away? Nice. I've come for you, Patricide. Be gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy! Help me! Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take it and disperse the others. Leave not these crowds. Ye cannot break the circle. Time to end this. It is an ill turn. Ill. Woe away. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is Something whispers, something peeps. Someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is all is This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run. lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back. Likely to keep his word. Old man Ambros, the Pella fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do.
shape. Hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. Take care of yourself. of the living never return again. Wolf, wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Found your father's body. Had to burn it. Good you did. Return for me, ye would have. Ghost's not likely to come back. Thank you, Witcher. A reward for your aid. And if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? So long.
Come on. Not so fast, Roach. wagon. Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepus. Wonder what spell requires that. Magic's still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kirill explained this one from an artery. Can't be far. Wouldn't have made it.
just when I was starting to miss you. Got those uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine. Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Wait. <laughs> then shoo outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The king begins to cable. Changed mice into horses. Third level transfiguration. I'm impressed. But I still don't get it. Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother. I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I don't want to shag you in the bushes, but to share a pleasant evening. But if no, then no. Oh, all right. I'll do it. I feel honored. Truly. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gonna transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gvela Glan! So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Gideon. Cinderella, we'll have a great fall. Cut as fast as you can. Try to catch me.
Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Could have just told me what this was about, Ryder. <laughs> Geralt, run to the woods and fetch my shopping. I'd like to make dinner. Well, would you have helped? If I'd known I'd get a glass of Zubaram dry in return, of course. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the fort. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Uh, why are you even interested? Because I grasp the importance of the studies conducted there. In the wrong hands, the findings could do immense harm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? Sorry, just not in the mood. Is it a headache? Or does the problem lie elsewhere in your anatomy? <sighs> I knew we shouldn't have had that wine before dinner. Will you at least lie down and gaze at the stars with me? Hmm. Why not? Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Eggvane Navi. Kira? Where? Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. Heard of the fly hate brigade? Not you.
a light. Top floor of the tower. So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face. Or I might think you don't like me anymore. Didn't come here to play games. I want to know what you're up to. Naturally, you suspect me of the worst. I don't deserve that. My intentions are pure. Like a virgin's tears. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. You're either incredibly gullible, or you're trying to play me again. Whatever do you mean? Radovid has one objective. To defeat Emir. Curing Catriona, stopping the plague, won't help him do that. So he'll either burn you at the stake with those notes among the kindling, or he'll make you use them to create a weapon. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Bacteria cannot be controlled. Not yet. But it's possible in theory, isn't it? In theory, it's just as possible for a Dachshund to impregnate a she-wolf. I don't have time to debate this, Geralt. I'm going to see Radovid, whether you like it or not. It's your conscience. But you do know hundreds, thousands could die. What of it? What difference will it make if Nilfgaard's legions die by steel or because of some fucking germs? None. A plague can go wrong. Go wild. A sword won't. That's the difference. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. Yeah, kinda. So before I go, I'll need you to hand me those notes. All right, all right, take them already. Farewell, Geralt. Or rather, see you soon.